Hello people welcome back or welcome if you are new here today's video is my most exciting first DIY project i turned the guest bedroom closet into my office to create a beautiful space for myself i will be explaining everything about this project what tools i have used and what issues i have faced what i learned to be honest this is simple project but for beginners definitely no as a beginner who haven't even used drill bit before this is a challenge I am sure you will get lot of inspiration from this video. Let's get into it. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. On day 1, I started removing the door trims and shelf and clearing up the space with the basic tool what I had. I had just used drill bit and a hammer. And most importantly, I measured the space to make sure uh, I get all the products right. I am using utility knife here to remove the clocking so when you remove the shelf it don't damage the wall and remove the paint As I said before uh, I only had hammer and a drill bit which was enough to remove the door and this shelf but to remove the frame of the shelf I need a trim puller I made lot of trip to loss Whenever I find I need something, I ran into loose. I did a bit of res research before starting this project. Still, I did not want to uh, get all fancy tools I see people are using. I want to go step by step and try to use what I had and get only most necessary items. I did not want to spend much money on this project. everything is removed all the nails are pulled out so there are like few places where it need a patch up the nail made a damage here and here but everything looks pretty good none of the wood is damaged so if we need we can reuse it I am now removing the trim uh, of the door. I just wanted this space to be like seamless, not like a closet. So I just wanted to uh, remove this trim so that it uh, it looks like an extension of this uh, bedroom. I wanted to remove the uh, top wall too um, to make this uh, so seamless, but uh, I didn't have uh, that much cut to remove that. So maybe uh, in the next project. <laughs> A little tip here if you are not able to pull out the nail just push it in <laughs> that's what i am doing here i am just hammered all the nails into the wall because i'm not uh, i was not able to pull out i struggled so much to remove this uh, baseboard because it was well stuck into the carpet i had to like move the carpet little bit uh, and pull out the baseboard and uh, nail back the carpet again Another tip is use the painter tape to visualize the design in your mind. What I had in my mind was a floating desk and in one end a bookshelf and two floating shelf above the floating desk. I measured the existing desk and used that measurement for floating desk and seeing whether uh, it looks good and will be functional or not. 
next thing i'm doing is patching up the drywall which uh, with the patch uh, i already had as i said i only had very little so i want i patched up only the middle wall so that i can start uh, working on my uh, wallpaper this wallpaper i got it from amazon i just love it uh, it's not very expensive i'll link it uh, link everything in the description below for you guys I did here and realized later is I should have painted the side walls first before applying the wallpaper. So I wouldn't have used painter tape on wallpaper and struggled to remove that later. So if you are a beginner like me, learn from my mistakes. Sticking this last paper was little tricky because I need to match up the pattern with the above one also to the side one and uh, uh, I did a mistake here too. I measured from one end and uh, cut that in the other end. So luckily I had uh, extra wallpaper to correct that mistake. So all good now. It looks good. I really love this wallpaper. This is my first wallpaper ever. Uh, it was very easy to apply. The only thing is like uh, it is very delicate and little. Uh, if you see, like it's not thick. It's very thin. So I it just not showing in the camera. But um, here, wherever I removed the uh, the wall shelf, um, that one is. Uh, where there is no paint, I could see it little bit. Uh, 
when I am like seeing in person but that's not a big deal but it's overall it looks good it was very easy to apply uh, and it since it is very thin you need to be very delicate about this wallpaper because when I am cutting through the edges if I, if there is like a one spot it is not cut properly then it is like um, scraping everything off so you need to be careful about it but other than that this is like so good I love it Patching up the other walls, I used Drydex Dry Indicator Spackling. The thing I love about this is uh, pink color turns into white when it's fully dried so you don't need to worry much whether it's dried enough or not. I tried to use the same spackling on the corner where it had uh, aluminium joints but it was not working there. I think I need something different like joint compound maybe. I need to research on that but what I can tell now is drywall spackling don't work on joints. Now time for another low strip to get the wood. I got it cut from their uh, uh, store itself and I got everything to stain and uh, sand. I got standard quarter inch uh, frame with uh, this um, project panel for the floating desk. After the stain is dried out, I used a clear satin top coat which I forgot to film but uh, I used this one. Time for painting, first I sanded all the places where I patched and covering the carpet. I first used yellow frog tape which was not working on carpet and then used blue scratch painter tape. I am using the paint I had already. We use this paint for my kids bedroom. This is coffee white color from Burr's brand. It's not pure white, it has grayish tone on it.
my kid wants to help in this project so I involved him in painting. With the paint roller, kids can easily paint for us. Only thing is it gets messier and he used lots of paint. Did you guys see what he did here? Yes, he painted the ladder. He said uh, he did not have any place to paint, so he painted the ladder. This is what, if you are working with kids, these kind of things happen. my hair <laughs> by mistake I painted my hair <laughs> this is what like if you're working in the tight space uh, this may happen too doesn't seem like much different from what it was in the video but you can check here so this is like pearl white and this is um, mm, some coffee white like little bit of gray is there so that's like a lot different I don't know how many days it has been I worked on this project for so long not that it has been that difficult I could not spend time very dedicated to this I worked for 30 minutes or an hour on a day and I either needed some tools so I go to store and continue on that another day it was like that honestly this is a weekend project but I took so long <laughs> Like I said, um, I had so many uh, struggle also in between. Uh, like the sub finder we ha had already was not working, so I had to go to store again to get the new stud finder and continue on this one. As you guys see, I changed the design here and removed the bookshelf I had planned before. First thing, I felt very cramped in the previous design, so I wanted the bigger floating decks. And next thing, we did not want storage space in this room, so I went with simple design. Another issue is I measured the depth wrong. I measured for the side frame from the wall till the floating desk, not considered the frame in the back. So the side frame is longer than the floating desk. I ordered circular saw and was uh, waiting for that to continue on this project. Of course, I had to do trial because this is the first time I, I was using big tool like this. It was pretty exciting. At the same time, I was a little scared. <laughs>
I try to make a hole for the cards to go underneath and I used the biggest drill hole I had and unfortunately that was not big enough for the cards. For now, extension card on top of the desk is good enough. Finally, the day has come. Uh, it's time to decorate and make this space beautiful. I have used the decors whatever I already had. I did not purchase anything new for this space including this floating shelf but it turned out so beautiful. What do you guys think? I really love how it turned out and I edited this video on my new space. I am really enjoying my hard work. I hope this video inspired you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. See you in next video. Bye.